hello my awesome scorpios happy thursday to you it's almost weekend time i'm so excited i hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are scorpio you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first as usual we're going to ask what's coming up for you what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Scorpio. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio, for Scorpio's highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for scorpio in their life and how is scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for scorpio in their life and how is scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey let's see scorpio what's popping over here <clears throat> wow new beginnings with job offers some kind of job offers changes at your job so some of you may have uh, a raise a promotion a job offer a new job offer change of position that's gonna make you happy yeah just keep being proactive uh, because this shows if you're gonna continue being proactive at what you want you're gonna get your wish this is wish fulfillment yeah something that may, you may have to battle with like it's gonna be frustrating emotionally but if you persist if you continue uh, going for it you're gonna succeed at what you want to see in your life yeah this is beautiful this is wish fulfillment because of your diligent efforts yeah so you can't just sit there and, and uh, pray that it's gonna happen on its own you're gonna have to put forth effort okay and it's gonna happen this is you needing to take actions okay um yeah you see this beautiful blessings financial abundance help um this is beautiful mm -hmm. i'm loving this six of pentacles yeah this is happy stuff coming to you yeah you're gonna be happy you're gonna be celebrating mm -hmm. universe please show us what's coming up for scorpio and how is scorpio currently doing on their summit journey yeah so your soulmate you view them as difficult to be in relationship with yeah you view them as difficult to communicate with to for them to show emotions for them to show vulnerability emotional vulnerability yeah you showing up as having very high standards yes that's good that's how you gotta be um you feel like your soulmate is really difficult to communicate with yeah you feel like you need to let them go. Mm -hmm. You feel drained in this relationship. Yeah, you've been very patient with them. Mm -hmm. Somebody new popping up here for you. This is beautiful. So both of them want you. The new person that's coming up for you and the person that you're letting go of because you feel like it's not working out for you. And another person popping up here. Wow. Um, because you are holding highly vibrational empress energy, whether you're male or female, you could be either gender and have this beautiful high vibration energy around you, uh, meaning you are of high quality. You are a catch in a relationship. People recognize you for this and are interested in you. Yeah. Wait a minute. Let me put this one here. Yeah. So the person that you are disappointed with, you view them as very immature based on their behavior towards you. You view them as very immature, wishy-washy, in and out of your life, not communicating effectively, not listening to your valid concerns, not expressing emotions. You basically feel alone in this relationship, emotionally uncared for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have new people coming up here for you yeah i'm loving this although this person knows that they're gonna have to show you some kind of 
emotional offer for you to change your mind. They can tell you are distancing yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Let's see what's going on here. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio and how is Scorpio currently doing? Yeah, <clears throat> so the person that you're letting go of uh, wants to communicate with you, but they very guarded emotionally. This is my least favorite king of all kings, king of swords. They're showing up for the second time. This shows me that this is how they act. They don't communicate. They don't give you any clues. They don't express emotions like they should. Yeah. <clears throat> you feel drained. They feel a lot of guilt for losing you. So they feel you are letting them go. Maybe because you're silent or whatever it is you're doing makes them uh, alarmed. Yeah, they feel a lot of guilt. Honestly, this person has a lot of baggage from past failed relationships that they need to work on. They need to learn how to forgive, how to heal, how to release the past, how not to dwell on the past. Because that emotional baggage, the anger, the resentment, the grudges uh, they're holding on to is directly affecting their connection with you. Yeah, you, you, it's not fair to you. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with this person. And then in the extended, we're going to also ask about the new soulmates entering your life that showed up as King of Wands and Knight of Cups. Very good. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is letting go of for now that showed up as King of Swords twice, Knight of Wands and Page of Swords. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio and how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally. No, this one right here. They love you a lot. Yeah, but they don't express it. It's like they're hiding it. They don't like to show emotion of vulnerability. They love you a lot, but they don't really show it. Yeah. Yeah. They worry that this is it, that you're done with them. They want to reconcile with you. They know they need to show you some kind of emotions, feelings, care uh, for you to reconcile with them. Yeah, this means apologies, peace offerings, gifts, explanations. So this person knows what the problem is. That's good. The question is, what will they do about it, right? To change this, not to repeat the same mistakes. That's the question here. They're holding on to you, so they're not wanting to let you go. They don't want to lose you. Yeah, universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio that Scorpio is thinking of letting go of for good. And how is that soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, they feel so empty without you, sad, alone. They want, they're very emotional towards you. Look at all these cups, 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 emotions, feelings, intense emotions. Yeah, judgment twice. This person wants to uh, reconcile with you so badly. This is them preparing themselves to approach you, even though they petrified, you're going to reject them, judge them and tell them no. Look how much they miss you. They feel very empty without you. Sad. Alone. You know, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Scorpio. Yeah, they don't communicate effectively. So they are poor communicators, poor listeners. Yeah. People who don't communicate effectively always suffer in relationships. Yeah. Communication is extremely important. Without communication, there's nothing. There's misunderstanding, right? Communication is extremely important. Yeah, open line of communication between people. <coughs> yeah, <clears throat> they see how guarded they are, how closed off they are emotionally. They see it. They see it. Yeah, they're looking at themselves more objectively because you let them go. This forces them to look at their behavior more objectively and be honest with themselves. Mm -hmm. They want you back in a relationship, but they need to earn you back. They need to earn you. They need to earn your trust and respect. Yeah. They can't just knock on your door and say, Scorpio, I want you back. That's not good enough. They need to earn your trust and respect through 
consistent actions that you can believe in, not just empty words and gifts, right? Exactly. This is how they view you, marriage material, and you are. You have a lot to offer in a relationship. You are, in fact, a catch. That's why you have to be so selective, picky, with high standards. Yeah. You deserve someone who matches your high vibration energy. Otherwise, you're going to feel drained, disrespected, used. Yeah. You need someone with high vibration energy like yours. Now, this person can raise their vibration through consistent actions and a lot of inner work, then they could possibly meet you one day halfway. But until then, that's not going to happen. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's going on currently with that soulmate of Scorpio. Yeah, you see, they try to let you go, but they can't because they are emotionally attached to you in this situation. <clears throat> they want to see you so badly, reunite with you, spend time with you, laugh with you, make you feel at ease, make you trust them. Yeah, they don't want to lose you to somebody else. Somebody else is entering your life for the second time showing up as King of Wands, one of my favorite kings. So this new person, you're going to be meeting through some kind of, or are meeting through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings, I love the new soulmate's energy. We're going to go into your extended reading, Scorpio. We're going to ask about the person that wants to come back to you, but also the new soulmates that popped up as King of Wands and Knight of Cups. So first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they're planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, the King of Wands energy and Knight of Cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Scorpio, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.